Hello, it's nice to see you in our Python tutorial series video again. We will study control flow in this video. Control flows are essential to any program languages. Let's begin from one of the most important and simple control flows first, which is if-else control flow. As you can see, it will go to a Boolean expression, which will be true or false. If the condition is true, then it will go to this branch. If not, it will go another branch, which will go to statement 3, and then go to the rest of the code. And if else can nest itself, and here we can see there is another uh, bully expression if over here, and it's if the condition is true, then go to the statement 1. If not, then go to statement 2, and then rest of the code. Now let's go to my notebook and see how it actually work. Now first I'm going to create another new um, Python file over here and uh, I'm going to call it uh, 7 if else. Say no, it should be 6. Right. Now let's see how the if else work. First, let me define a user enter over here. Let's see users option. Maybe just says enter. And first, we default as one. And here we uh, give some comments over here. Please. Um, Please um, assign user it one if you want to study AI. Otherwise, enter zero. Now. Of course, the user will be um, user until value will be one. And now let's construct a if else uh, structure over here. First, let's say if users enter. Equal to one. Then print, um, say, um, or welcome to our AI tutorial. Else, let's say, else. Print. Suppose the user um, input other um, number. Let's say you can go home now. Now let's execute this um, if else constructor. Now the outcome is welcome to AI tutorials because. Um, our user enter is one. Uh, let me change another value and uh, re-execute the if else again. Now, because it's no longer equals to one, so it will go to the second else statement. Now let's nest another if else inside of this tutorial. We will have a uh, another. Um, Viable. Let's call it. Let's call it um, DS data science um, one or not? Maybe three. Uh, if and in this situation, let's say if the DS is 
greater than two, then we said welcome to welcome to uh, our data science tutorial. Actually, data science included uh, AI, and we here we're going to see data science. Else, it will be belong to this uh, if so the ident will be um, a line over here. Actually, just um, a tab. So over here, else, and we will see. Welcome to our AI tutorial. And now let's rerun this cell again and run the second thread. Now, the condition go to these two uh, branch is uh, first we have to go to this if branch. So we have to change this value as one. Now, and the DS is greater than three. So it's supposed to uh, run this sentence. Now let's see. See, it's work. If we change this value as like uh, one, now let's see how it works. Now let's go to the sync branch. There are also another um, keywords over here is uh, says else if. I'm going to um, introduce you what is keywords in later uh, in this video. Now, if let's say the DS just exactly um, uh, maybe let's say um, under zero, which is uh, minor numbers, and uh, we says if DS is uh, less than zero, then we will see print. Um, your please enter right number and let's assign minor one over here and see how it work. See, Be because first because user enter is. Uh, uh, one and so we go to this branch and then because ds is less than zero so it will run this sentence now let me introduce you keywords keywords are some uh, words that python language you keep itself that you cannot use your own like you cannot define a number called if else or else you do not have to remember all those keywords. Let me show you how to print all those keywords out. First, we have to import keyword. Now, print it out is uh, keyword and uh, dot key w list. Let's see. Yeah, those are keywords that you cannot use in your um, numbers or any um, thing you want to define yourself. And uh, some of keywords we will use very often later after this course. Uh, some are. anyway, if else and uh, else. Uh, those are keywords we will use very often later after this uh, course. Uh, basically, you have to use if else every day uh, if you want to program with Python or any other program language. Uh, they are very common. Okay, that's all for if else today. And uh, we will introduce you more control flows in following videos. Thank you. Bye bye.